This video review was shot entirely on an iPhone Pro 15 Max. My usual camera decided that it didn't want to work today because reasons. Oh, and Transformers Cybertron will be 20 years old in 2025. That's next year. This show is nearly 20 years old. Oh my God. One of the weirdest figures we've gotten in the past couple of years is Generation 2 G-Axis. If this was on your bingo card for figures that would show up in the Transformers Legacy series, well, you, I think this might have been a free space for you. This figure is really interesting. And quite honestly, I didn't think that we'd ever see anything repainted from this mold. Well, I was wrong. From the G-Axis mold, we have been gifted with Transformers Cybertron Vector Prime. I gotta say, I did not see this coming. The main similarities between the two figures are the upper arm and the forearm and the fists, and then the hips, upper legs, lower legs, and feet. All exactly the same. But this video isn't about G-Axis, so he's out of here. This video is about our boy Vector Prime. Something that I'm less keen on is the backpack. There's a lot left to be desired back here, it, but it's fine. It does the job. It gets the little cape solar panels out of the way. Vector Prime comes with two accessories, the first of which is this big sword, which that original figure came with a nice big sword. The hilt does bend, so you can do some stuff with it posing-wise, but overall, it sticks to be a sword very well. And then it comes with its own little cyber planet key, which can plug into his belly like that. And then you get some wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey stuff is supposed to happen. It doesn't. This is just a toy. I absolutely love the overall look of the figure. It, it's so nice. It really is. And it feels a little bit better, or I should say the proportions work better for me with this figure than compared to the original figure, which, while not bad, it lacked a little something. For a size comparison, here is Cybertron Starscream from the same Transformers United line. Man, Cybertron fans are eating well right now. The figure's posability, his head, is on a ball joint. However, his head keeps coming unpegged there at the collarbone. Shoulders are on hinges that move up and down, and then you could do a 360, and then you've got a, a swivel just below the shoulder, elbow bend well above 90 degrees, Fists do rotate, and they open and close with those weird little grabby fingers. Torso articulation is present, and then he's got the feet, the Rodimus Prime legs, or the Hot Rod legs, where he can go forward and back, though the backpack gets in the way, and so does the actual skirt armor. That gets in the way as well for kicking back. Can kick out at just about 90 degrees. There is a thigh rotation, and then our thigh swivel, bend at the knee is well over 90 degrees, and then an ankle rocker. But like G-Axis, it is limited because of the way it's designed. With all the different joint options you have on this thing, while standard, you can pull off some decent poses, and I quite like this figure a lot. Now, even though I love the look of this figure, it is not without its problems, and my copy has some real QC issues that are more really big annoyances than actual problems. So the first one I've already shown you, and that's it's, well, his head doesn't want to stay tabbed in. The other issue I have is that his chest just lifts up. It doesn't actually peg into place. It's supposed to peg in underneath, but it just doesn't want to stay. The legs themselves are fine-ish, but the hip swivels are a little loose and the pegs holding the shins on aren't the best. There's some mold degradation going on there. Now for the back. These arms, I think, are too loose. I just don't think those pins have been pushed in enough. And specifically, the left, I guess, pylon for this, or for whatever this accessory bit is, the solar, the solar sail. This pylon is very loose on mine, but that appears to be a problem across the board. So there might just be a manufacturer defect going on there. Vector Prime's transformation is very similar to G-Axis to start off with. Fold the fists up into the forearms, 
and just do, well, obviously do that on both sides. And then take the arms and take the shoulder pads and push them down and they will snap back into place. Come to the backpack and open up the back of the figure like that and then fold the head all the way in and close that up. That will then push the chest up, bring it up, snap it into place and turn it around 180 degrees like so. Then we can just kind of T-pose the arms, flip the legs around and then combine them, but we'll do that in a second. First, take these inside panels and flip them around. Then come to the legs and unpeg the shins. They will rotate up. We can fold the feet in and then we can just sort of half transform them for now because first we'll need to flip these up, grab the other piece of the backpack and fold it down over the hips. And then once that's done, then we can bring up the shins and they will snap into place. Bring that tail fin all the way up, snap that into place, turn those to the side, bring these down and peg them into the pegs that are coming off the bottom of the shins. Then come to the front and fold the arms up, take the arm shoulder section and accordion them down and peg them into place. And we're done. The alt mode we end up with looks pretty good, but it's not exact to the original figure, which is a shame because that original figure was really cool. The thing that I absolutely hate is right there at the very tip of the jet space thingy mode is that right there, see? There's a screw sticking up, and then those are where the figure is supposed to peg in. I absolutely hate the way that that looks. The Cyber Planet key can be pegged into the top of the vehicle mode. But getting that lined up is a little tricky sometimes. And then the sword can be pegged in on the bottom on either side. I just end up putting it over here. The original figure, you know what? I don't remember what the, how the original figure stored that stuff. Yeah, it's not a bad alt mode, but I don't think it succeeds 100%. I would love for there to have been more paint back here. Maybe maybe some of the maroon going in for the cabling or the gold, maybe some gold in there. That would have been very nice. Or, ooh, no, the blue. The blue would have been perfect. That would have really tied it together. It's fine. Overall, it's fine. It's not my favorite alt mode for Transformer Cybertron figure. It's good enough. For a size comparison, here is Cybertron Starscream next to Vector Prime. Very different spaceship jetty modes, but you can see there is a little bit of size difference. And a little bit of a better view with them in a kind of a space shuttle launch mode. Please forgive the wind charger there. I need something to balance that star screen with. It's weird. Lately, I have found that the bot modes have been really good with a bunch of figures, but then the alt modes have been severely lacking, or I've been unenthused by the bolt mode. Or bolt modes? Yes, alt modes. <laughs> I am my own mode. Oh dear God. <laughs> the Bolt mode. It's not that this is a bad figure by any stretch of the imagination. It just, I really wish it got its own figure, not a retool of a pre-existing figure, which, which isn't a bad figure. Jaxus is not a bad figure at all. It's quite good actually, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being too picky. That's entirely possible. It feels weird to say that a lot of le legends, no, legends, geez, legacy is is taking other designs and then putting them through a homogenization layer, if that makes any sense. I mean, look at the Transformers animated figures that we've gotten in legacy. But here, it's it's like they had a really unique figure, stripped out all the gimmicks, and then set it to a price point. That's what it feels like, and I, I don't know if that's true. I'm hoping not, 
but it's what it feels like. But we ended up with a good figure. It's a good toy. It's not bad. I love, 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 love the robot mode. Transformation is okay, and the vehicle mode is, well, it's a vehicle mode. So folks, let me know what you think of Vector Prime down in the comments. I'm, I'm torn because I love the robot mode, but everything else about the figure just leaves me meh. I don't know, maybe there's something wrong with me. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Thank you all for watching. As always, I have been Ball Matrix. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will catch you all next time.